Corruption in Africa has destroyed several millions and millions of lives. Corruption in Africa has been institutionalized in many institutions across the continent of Africa. Each country is bleeding as a result of corruption. The only country, there are few countries in Africa that have tried to fight corruption mercilessly without fear or favor. Rwanda is one of them. And you can see the percentage, the number of the place where it sits, Seychelles. You can see where it sits in terms of number one in Africa in the fight against corruption. But corruption is also an obstacle in this period of Lent. Let's look at the story, the parable of Jesus when he said, go ye ahead and get a new donkey that has never done any work before he enters the kingdom the temple of Jerusalem to drive away thieves robbers, killers tax collectors like uh, Zakayo in Kenya we have a Zakayo a Zakayo who has not returned everything but claims to use the Bible to get the people to vote for him claims to be very innocent Claims to have not stolen anything, even when proxies, the closest cronies, have been found in the possession of stolen cash. From National Health Insurance Fund to National Insurance, National Youth Service, to Kenya Pipeline, to KPLOC, to Kenya, all these institutions, a proxy was used. To the Kimerol and Emerol, Although he stood up and said he wasn't part of it, still proxies were used to f sh fuel shortages. The company is supplying fuel. They take fuel into another country, then return the fuel, sell it at an exorbitant price. Is this the Africa we want? Therefore, Africa needs a new donkey. This is the last, the last four months the last period of Lent for President Uhuru Mwingai Kenyat of Kenya. He has fought and fought against corruption. He has tried to bring in laws. But the laws in Kenya, the criminal justice system in Kenya is slow. It does not punish like in China firing squad, killing people by firing squad who are involved in corruption. The law in Kenya goes slow. The wheel is slow. The judges are corrupt. So many things happen in Kenya. Therefore, corruption is still the biggest obstacle in entering a new Jerusalem. Indeed, out of all the five sample cases, Nigeria, South Africa, Rwanda, South Sudan, and Kenya, the countries have taken only one is in the second with two digits. That is Rwanda. The rest are in three digits out of 108 index. Fellow Africans, as a Pan-African, I'm concerned. Take your time. Look at my clip. Think again. Does Africa new need a new donkey towards a new Jerusalem during this period of Lent? And that donkey in Kenya is none other than Raira Amolo Odinga who can lead the people of Kenya in the fight against corruption. Thank you. Vote him. Vote Raira. Vote for him. Let him take Kenya to a new Jerusalem. God bless you.